Mike Carter. Um, I lived in Costa Rica full time for about 10 years now, but I actually grew up all over Latin America. Um, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Panama, Colombia. Um, grew up all over there. And a lot of times people ask me, why did I choose Costa Rica? It's really the people. And any of you who go on this trip will know exactly what I'm talking about. I can't hear it. Um, You're not going to so be able to hear it at all. I'm going to go over a little bit about uh, this trip for next January. All right. So uh, here again, uh, uh, a little bit about me and my partner in Costa Rica, Pablo Cespedes. Between the two of us, we have 55 to 60 years of travel experience uh, working for wholesalers, independent travel agencies, tour operators. We've seen it all in Costa Rica. Okay, the itinerary that we're gonna be doing next year is very, very similar to the one that we just completed uh, two weeks ago, uh, which everybody raved about. Uh, the general overview, it's uh, nine nights, 10 days. Uh, we visit four different destinations, San Jose, uh, Tortuguero, uh, Apiata and Al Volcano region, and Manuel Antonio on the Pacific coast. So you actually will see both sides of the country, uh, the Caribbean and the Pacific. It's a small country. You can actually do that. It doesn't take three days to drive across like it does here in the U.S. There has to get a little closer to the bike so they just go All right. All right. We also have 10 included activities, which I'll go over in just a minute. Uh, here's the destinations again, San Jose, Tortuguero, La Fortuna, which is the Adenal region, but the town is actually called La Fortuna, and Manuel Antonio on the Pacific side. Uh, the first hotel that you'll be staying at is the Studio Hotel in San Jose, and that's the, the first two nights. Uh, something that uh, a lot of people were surprised about with uh, the Studio Hotel is the art collection that exists there. Uh, the owners of the hotel have over 200 pieces of artwork hanging around the hotel. It is the largest public, uh, private collection of art in the country that anybody can go and visit. Uh, then we're going to be going to Evergreen Lodge uh, on the Caribbean side. Now, the Caribbean side, it's more about the destination than the accommodations. Uh, it's a little bit rustic to manage expectations, but it is so worth visiting. Uh, Tortuguero is fantastic, all about the wildlife. The only way in is by boat or by plane. There are no cars anywhere within, I'd say 50, 60 kilometers, uh, say like 30 miles of the town of Tortuguero. Uh, after visiting there, we go up to Arenal Kyoto, uh, Sweets and Spa which is a fantastic hotel, has the best view of the volcano. And then we finish off at Paradora Resort and Spa on the Pacific side. Um, gorgeous location, great hotel. Uh, the activities that we do, we do a coffee tour the first day. We uh, visit Boas Volcano. Uh, and then we finish off at uh, La Paz Waterfall Gardens that day. We're, we're then going to, on the Caribbean side, do the uh, Jungle River tour in Tortuguero. Then up in Arenal, we do a Hanging Bridges tour. We visit the town of La Fortuna. Uh, then we have a Crocodile River tour, a National Park tour, Catamaran Sunset Cruise, a National Theater visit. So there are a lot of activities that are included uh, within this uh, package. All right, uh, first location, San Jose. It is the capital of uh, Costa Rica. About one quarter of the population of Costa Rica actually live in the Central Valley. And we have about 50% of the cars, unfortunately, as well. Uh, the accommodations, once again, uh, the Studio Hotel. Actually, in this right here, uh, if you see the building straight in front of the pool right there is where I live. <laughs> and so when you guys visit the studio hotel, I'm always popping in and out to say hello, greet the group. I'll have the meals with you. If you have any questions, you can ask me. I'm always available. 
And again, the Studio Hotel is the uh, hotel with that great art collection. So if you've got some time, just wander the halls and, and check out that fantastic art collection. Oh, oh there we go. All right. Okay. Uh, the second day that you're there, uh, we visit Doka Estates Coffee uh, Plantation, um, one of the oldest and largest uh, coffee plantations in Costa Rica. Uh, they still process the coffee using water power uh, because it was set up before electricity was available. So all of the machinery that they have to process the coffee is run by water power. And they make great coffee. Uh, after Doka Estates, uh, we'll go further up the mountain uh, to uh, uh, Poas uh, Volcano. And you actually drive all the way up to the crater. You don't have to climb up there. The parking is right next to the crater within five minute walk. You can visit and see the crater as well. And following that, we will continue to La Paz Waterfall Gardens. Uh, La Paz Waterfall Gardens has all kinds of animal exhibits included with it. Uh, you will see uh, butterfly gardens and an enclosed aviary with like 40 species of birds, uh, some primates. We have uh, four species of uh, monkeys in Costa Rica. I believe they have three of them there because there's one who really doesn't like uh, the cooler weather up there, uh, the howler monkey. Um, they also have a serpentarium, a frog pond, um, uh, an ox uh, car exhibit, uh, just a wonderful place. And that's where you'll have lunch as well that day. Okay, now the next day, uh, day three, we head towards Tortuguero. That picture right there is the town of Tortuguero. It has a population of about 800 people, I think, total. Depends on the day. <laughs> um, and like mentioned before, the only way to get in there is by boat. Uh, we travel by bus down to the river where you get on the boat and travel through the canals to get to uh, the actual town of Tortuguero. And where we, what we do there is we stay at Evergreen Lodge. Um, that's a picture of uh, the rooms there. Uh, everything's, you'll notice that all the walkways are elevated. There's a lot of flooding in the area. This is the rainforest. So, but in January, you really don't have to worry too much about that. But if you were to visit there in July, August, September, there would probably be water under those walkways. It does flood out. Um, all right. Uh, one of the best activities, I think, in, in the entire itinerary is the boat tour of Tortuguero National Park. There you're going to see monkeys, caiman, uh, great green macaws, uh, maybe a couple species of owl. Uh, there are manatee in the water. Rare to see them, but every once in a while we do get lucky and see manatee there as well. All right, then the following day, we will leave once again by boat and by bus up to the town of La Fortuna with Arenal Volcano. There, we will be staying at Arenal Kyoto Suites and Spa. And yes, that is the, pick, the uh, view you're going to have from your room. Every single one of the 62 rooms at Arenal Kyoto faces the volcano, and there's no other properties between Kyoto and the volcano. All right. Uh, the activities that we're going to be doing while up there, uh, the following day after we arrive, uh, we're going to go do the uh, Sky Adventures Hanging Bridges Tour. Um, now, this can be a little bit of a longer walk or a little bit of a shorter walk. It all depends on the people uh, that are attending. And this is one of the reasons why I put three guides in uh, with this last tour that we had, and we'll probably do three guides again next year. Uh, I try to average one guide for every 12 to 15 people. Uh, that way you get a more personalized uh, experience. I've seen some of my competitors do one guide, 50 people. And it's like, no, nah, I, I, I don't do it that way. Uh, it's, 
it's better to have uh, the more personal experience with so many guides and the same guides who did the trip last year or that we just finished and the one before uh, are already scheduled to do the one for 2025. They know the tour, they know sun tours, pleasure bent, they work very great with you. And uh, so I've already scheduled them. Uh, the other thing we will do is after the uh, Sky Adventures Hanging Bridges, uh, we head to La Fortuna Waterfall. This is uh, about 210 foot drop waterfall. Um, they, they have a viewing platform near the restaurant where we will have lunch and you can take pictures from there. And there's a good chance that you'll see monkeys there as well as uh, toucans uh, and aracaris, which are like a little smaller toucan. Uh, we have two species of true toucans in Costa Rica. Uh, the keel build, which is, you know, toucan Sam on the Fruit Loops box, you know, he, that's that one. And then the yellow uh, throated toucan, which is slightly larger actually. But not quite as colorful. Do you take a bike up to the waterfall, or do you have to? Uh, it's about down? 500 steps down to the base of the waterfall. Um, you can if you want to, but it's 500 steps back up. Okay. Um, I do it from time to time. My knee hurts usually by the time I get to the top. <laughs> um, but there's time. Oh yeah, it's it's a very well maintained trail. Uh, it's all cement or metal steps on the way down. Um, yeah, it's very easy to get down. It's not slippery. There's handrails. There's the little. The question was, will they have enough time? To do it? Yeah, we can accommodate that absolutely because you have three guides with you, and we have our own transportation for you. If some people want to hang out there and go down to the base of the waterfall, not a problem we can accommodate that. Because the other option is right after you're finished with the waterfall, uh, we give people the option. They can go into downtown La Fortuna or return back to uh, the hotel, Kyoto. And so we can shuffle around, put the guides where we need them. And yeah, we're very flexible that day. All right. After that, we head to Manuel Antonio on the Pacific side. Now you've covered both sides of the country. Uh, en route to uh, Manuel Antonio, well, we're going to be staying at Parador Resort. But on the way there, we will stop at the Tarcolis River uh, to do the uh, Crocodile Safari River tour. Uh, we have some giant uh, American crocodiles in, in that river. Very safe. It's a nice boat, <laughs> uh, but, they, but they are absolutely gigantic. Uh, there's some of them that weigh eight, 900 pounds. Uh, they're so big. Yeah. And uh, we do the, the boat tour, uh, see the crocodiles. You'll also see a lot of birds uh, on this tour. Uh, rosette spoonbills, uh, magnificent frigate birds. A lot of the seabirds uh, that Costa Rica is known for will be available to be seen in that area. A lot of egrets. Uh, herons. Uh, we also have lunch there at uh, the Tarcolis River before continuing to Manuel Antonio and the Parador Resort and Spa. And that's a picture actually of uh, Manuel Antonio National Park, which we will be visiting uh, later on. All right. Uh, what we do is uh, the second day that we're there, uh, well, the day after you arrive at Parador, it, it's been a long week. So this is where we give you a little bit of relaxing time because it's such a beautiful location to uh, the hotel. They have a great spa if anybody wants to have a massage or something like that. So the morning we give you free there uh, to just enjoy and uh, relax. Uh, because then at about one o'clock in the afternoon, we'll pick you up and we'll take you on the uh, catamaran sunset cruise. Uh, where you can go snorkeling if you want to. You don't have to. Uh, we actually had a gentleman on this last tour, 83 years old. He had never been in the ocean before. And uh, one of my guides, uh, Adrian, was like, this is your perfect chance. These are very still waters, nice, easy step down in. And we put a life vest on them. And the guy was 
he made me cry, <laughs> quite honestly. I get a little emotional when, when clients experience something new uh, like that. Uh, one of the things that I always look out for is when uh, I have families traveling with children. First time a child sees uh, a monkey in the wild is it's special. Will you provide the snorkeling gear? Oh yeah, they have all the snorkeling gear on the boat and life vests, uh, and and you also have dinner uh, on board uh, the boat. Yeah. I think there was some music as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was some music as well. <laughs> Uh, then we return to Parador, uh, spend the night there, and the next day is when we actually visit Manuel Antonio National Park before returning back to San Jose and the Studio Hotel. Uh, along the way back to San Jose, we always stop at this place called El Jardín uh, Restaurant uh, for lunch. They also have a, a large souvenir shop if anybody wants to shop. We have plenty of time uh, during that visit. Then we get back to the studio hotel where we have dinner, and this is our farewell dinner. Um, everybody always enjoys this last night before returning. Oops, that was kind of in the backwards order. And uh, the next day, we take you to the airport and you fly back. Any questions? Flight time. Actually, time on the planes. Um, that one you guys would have to have. Total air time? Yeah, because yeah, you usually days. connect through one of the uh, Texas yeah. airports, Dallas right? Or Dallas Houston. or Houston. Um, yeah. So it's, you know, a, an hour and a half, yeah. hour and 45. Yeah, and two and a half station. from Houston. Um, and then from there, from Houston or Dallas to Costa Rica is only what another two two and a half to three hours yeah. I so fly that one a lot, lot. Very, very, like, it is. Yeah. yeah in fact I fly from Costa Rica to New York quite often and that's actually a shorter flight than uh, New York <laughs> to LA, LA. <laughs> <laughs> any questions uh, from the folks on the zoom well we have, we have a question here in the room just um, are these days early rise days or? Um, normally we're getting started around eight in the morning. Okay. You know, you'll have a uh, breakfast. Uh, you know, most of these hotels breakfast service starts at around six o'clock, 630. And we're usually getting uh, out the door by about eight o'clock. Yeah. That one over here. Yeah, I serve maximum number of people that you'll have on your tours. Great question. Well, uh, that's actually limited by the number of rooms I can get in the hotels. Uh, this past one, we had 37 people total. Yeah. And I would say we, probably we about the probably about the same 40, maybe maximum. But like I mentioned, uh, I prefer to have three guides for a group that size. You know, that way everybody gets more personal attention. When you're on the bridge uh, box, yeah, um, they don't move that much. Okay, because I have a friend who's afraid of heights. Okay. Um, you know, with a, with a situation like that, if you let us know ahead of time, what we'll do is make some other arrangements. You know, like I said, we have three guides, so we're very flexible okay. for particular needs. Yeah, and for the folks online, the question was just around the bridges and the stability of, the, of them and, mm -hmm. and all that, which we, we will address. Yeah. Jungle walk. Um, well, the hanging bridges walk is, uh, uh, you know, you're going to be through the jungle area. Uh, when you're in Tortuguero, uh, you can do a short walk uh, at Evergreen Lodge as well with one of our guides. And uh, Manuel Antonio at Parador, they have trails on the property that you can hike on your own. Do you use earbuds and a little... Excuse me? Do you use earbuds? Do they have those? Um, no, we don't use those. That's why you have three guys. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That way they're not having to scream to somebody. Right. Yeah. Is there any special vaccinations we've got to get? No, none are required. 
you know, you can address that with your personal physician uh, for recommendations, but the country of Costa Rica and, and the U.S. Uh, do not require any particular vaccinations, but that's something you should really address with your physician. So while we're in the Arrow, is there an expectation that there might be in January, no, there, there won't be any turtles in the area. A question, I just wanted to restate questions for people online oh, so that they can, well, we're just getting questions about getting clarification of what's best here in the room, so thank you, okay. everyone. Uh, that last question was about the turtles, the Tortuga turtles, mm -hmm. um, not... Not in January, and in Tortuguero, the uh, turtle nesting season is July, September, uh, late June through early September. About mosquitoes or other pests? Uh, question is, uh, do we have mosquitoes and other pests? Um, yeah, we do have quite a few mosquitoes. Um, during the day, it's not bad. What I do recommend for people is as soon as the sun goes down, apply it, especially lower leg. If you're wearing shorts, um, and, and our mosquitoes are tiny, you don't even notice them until you, you know, the next day when you're scratching. Um, so when the sun goes down, definitely apply uh, insect repellent. Uh, other pests, well, it is the tropics. We've got a lot of bugs. <laughs> well, most of them don't bother you. Okay. Any other questions? Specialties. Hmm. Costa Rican food specialties. Uh, Costa Rican food specialties. Fruit, 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 fruit. Uh, I mean, it is the tropics, and we just have you know mangoes, bananas, pineapples, um, jackfruit. Uh, I mean, actually, we do make we have added a stop that uh, one of my guides recommended, uh, Fabian. Uh, on the way to Tortuguero, he knows a guy, everybody knows a guy, and, uh, you know, it, it cost me like a couple of dollars to have the bus stop and have a demonstration of the different types and sampling of the different types of fruits that are available. They laid out, I don't know, 10, 15 different kinds of fruit for everybody to look at and learn about and sample if they wanted to. Beans and rice and plantains. Yeah, as far as, you know, like traditional dishes in Costa Rica, uh, our most traditional dish is actually something called a casado, uh, which literally means married. And the reason that this dish got its name is when uh, people worked in the fields, for instance, you know, lunch break would come around and the married guys would open up, you know, their cooler and they would have rice, beans, some kind of protein, uh, chicken, beef, pork, uh, maybe some plantains, a little bit of salad, you know, this dish with all of this food. And then the poor guys who were single, you know, would open up and have a little cold sandwich. So the, the traditional dish became known as a casado. That's something that a married person would get. And, and that is the typical dish of Costa Rica is a, a casado and there's a lot of rice and beans um that is the staple of costa rica uh, every morning uh, at the buffets you will see uh, a dish called gallo pinto and that basically traditionally it was made with the leftover rice and beans from the night before chop up a little garlic onion pepper fry it all up and that's gallo pinto now they make it from scratch of course but that's how it came about uh, the national currency is, uh, oh, the question was uh, about the currencies. Um, on this tour, you really aren't going to need too much of the local currency because it's a guided tour. Uh, almost everything is included. And the places that you'll be stopping take credit cards and, and U.S. dollars. But if you do want a little bit of the local currency, it's called the Colón. And the current exchange rate is about 500 to 1. Oh, it used to be prettier, though. Now we, now we have this plastic money. Yeah, oh, yeah, the clear <laughs> Yeah. And there was a comment about how pretty the money in Costa Rica is, but apparently it might have changed. It's still it's pretty, you know. Oh, it's, uh, it's very yeah. colorful. It's colorful. You know, here's here's an example right here. That's a thousand cologne bill. That's uh, worth about two dollars. 
but it's plastic. Oh. Um, I, I don't oh, like it like the old one. Um, the old five cologne bill, which would be worth like, I don't know, not even a penny today. <laughs> That was considered one of the most beautiful bills ever produced in Costa Rica. I wish I had one to show you, but it was absolutely spectacular. And the whole back side of it actually is this painting that is seen at the uh, National Theater, which you, you will visit. Yeah, that, that was what it was modeled on. Is it a performance at the National Theater? No, no, it's just a visit, yeah. Sorry, to clarify, the uh, oh. question was around the... Is yeah, it uh, the is visit to the National Theater is uh, just a visit to see the beautiful building. Uh, it's not a performance that's going on. Anything uh, from the folks online? Anyone have any questions? Yeah, so we also have um, Melanie Thomas here, um, who is going to be escorting the tour. So we wanted to make sure that we introduced her and let her say hello to everybody. I'll and step out of the way with you guys. So. Hi, guys. So uh, some of you know me. I've met some of you briefly through our events. I'm the independent cruise tour manager here for Sun Tours, and I will be the escort for the Costa Rica trip. So, um, of course, if you guys have any questions, concerns about the destination. If you guys uh, want to reach out to me or reach out to Christy to get that booked, we can assist you with that. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to go out there and we're going to have a great time. And as the Costa Rican say, Pura Vida, it's going to be a very good time for us. So, yeah. Nice to meet you all. We're back. Um, do we have any, uh, any questions coming in from online? <laughs> I, I can't see the chat here, um, but I know that uh, Morgan was answering those. It doesn't look like we have anything. Um, oh, we have one more question. Activity level. It says it's an active. So I like active. Are we going to have opportunity to take long walks or hikes mm -hmm. during this time? Yeah. Um, questions regarding activity level and the time uh, for, for walks and things like that. Uh, once again, this is why I put three guides on the group. I, I understand that some people are looking for longer hikes than others. So, for instance, um, when we're at La Paz Waterfall Garden, uh, those who are active and want a longer walk can actually, after visiting the exhibits, can then do the trail that uh, leads down to all the waterfalls uh, with one of the guides while the others stay back with uh, the other guides. Uh, the same is true for Manuel Antonio National Park. You can do a short hike. You can do a longer hike. We give you that option with the different guides. Do they have American food there? American food? <laughs> In the Central Valley, we've got it all. We've got McDonald's, Wendy's, <laughs> P.F. Chang, Tony Roma's. Uh, it, it's... Uh, the beans and rice are incredible. But the, the rice and beans are great. Uh, but you know, at a lot of the rest, at a lot of the hotels that you'll be staying at, um, that you have a lot of food options. Yeah. That sounds good. Everyone looks like they're excited, like they're getting ready to, to get fired up for this trip. Very exciting. Um, you know, we just had the trip come back from Costa Rica. Obviously, we've had rave reviews on that one. This trip has only been available for just a short amount of time. And I know we've already got a number of bookings. So act fast. It's sell out. It will definitely it, it sell will out. sell out. <laughs> oh, well, the one for that we just finished sold out, what, four, four or five, months six months, months before. Yeah. 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 It, was, it was sold out. So act quickly. Summer. We really want everyone to be able to make it on this. Yes. What's a cancellation policy? Um, so we have the cancellation policy published on the site. I can follow up with you uh, specific dates. Um, there is, we definitely have a date up until which you can cancel without any penalties. And then we specify what they, what they are. Yeah. So, yeah, but we will make sure that you have that understood. All deposits are fully refundable up until the final payment. Well, oh, we got one more in the room. What if you 
you know, wanted to do, is it possible to do a self drive tour in, in, in some of these places? Like if I didn't choose to go with sun tours, um, because it seemed like you had to, the travel around the country is not that easy. Uh, the question is about, you know, can this be done as a self drive tour? Um, I would be careful about driving in Coast Rica, <laughs> quite honestly. Uh, I sell over 400 packages a year, bookings a year in Costa Rica. And out of those, I probably have like two people do rental cars. It, it, it's not the easiest place to drive. It's right. best to leave That's that to I the pros. Heard. And you, you cover a lot of ground. We do cover quite a bit of ground. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, one of the benefits, obviously, traveling. Right. Exactly, exactly. It's Plus, good. also, you have the guides with you as well, you know, uh, and, and everything's included. It, it makes it very easy uh, for you. You know, once you land, you're in our hands and we just take care of it all. So, um, question about the cancellation policy. Um, so, our standard cancellation policy is there's no penalty up until. Final payment date. Final payment date is September the 17th. Um, so that you could cancel up to that point and get your get a full refund on your deposit. Um, after September 18th, from September 18th to October 15th, you would lose your deposit of $250 per person. Um, beginning October 16th um, until November 19th, uh, you, there's a $2,500. Um, penalty, and then after November 19th, it's 100%. Um, unless you purchase the travel insurance with the, you know, there's a uh, insurable reason why you need to cancel, you know, illness or injury or you know something like that. Hopefully, folks online heard that we were going over the cancellation policies. Obviously, we can get that to you if you need that information specifically. It'll be on the website. So. On the website as well. Anything else? No more questions. Well, thanks everyone for joining us. Um, Thank you, I look Michael. forward uh, to seeing you all in Costa Rica. Like I said, you know, I, I live next door to the first hotel that you're going to be staying in. So I always stop by to say hello to everybody. <laughs>